everyone how are you doing tonight okay i promised you in my previous video that i'll be coming to tell you how you can raise money my main focus is on the ladies okay uh, let's say um you don't have any source of income you just get married to a man and um you don't know where to start from he is not willing to give you the business money and you don't just know where to start from but he's giving you money to cook food in the house okay i'm not here to spoil you i'm just trying to give you an idea of what to do this idea i'm going to tell you now is something me and my customer we experience together like we do we did the experiment together and at the end of the day we arrived at something very great and we celebrated it okay so um when i was doing the microfinance stuff um there was a lady very beautiful and she was having three kids already she was always in the house her house um is by the roadside and she see me doing the microfinance stuff and she explained herself to me and i told her okay you are not starving you are eating on a daily basis say, yes for sure in that area the husband is good i said okay if your husband is giving you money for food okay uh what you can do now is you can be saving a little bit from it on a daily basis i'll be coming here to pick up the cash from you on a daily basis and i ask her can you save 100 naira every day um 100 naira every day at the end of the year at the end of the year to give you like 36 thousand naira and she told me um she can make it 300 naira every day i was like wow that is great okay what is your intention now what do you intend to use the money for i ask her and she said um the husband does not really want her to do any business does not want her to step out because she's very beautiful so um she just needs to be in the house always this is what the husband wants so she needs a business that she can do at in her house comfortably okay and they were having some big fridges the man has money a bit they were not really too poor like they were not hungry so they were having two fridges already so what she needed to use this money for is to buy table and chairs and um a kind of a disc that she can use to play music okay so we were like okay do it 300 hours per day and you will arrive at about ninety thousand or um a bit more depends on how you do it and she started with three hundred naira every day when the husband gave her the money to go and get something in the market she tried to bargain a bit at the market um therefore she will have some change and that was how she was getting this three hundred naira every day she never um it was not like stealing or robbing okay let's say for example um the man may give her let's say that time things were a bit cheaper okay the man may give her okay 2500 my darling go and make food she goes to the market do a little bargain and she tried to reserve that 300 naira always and that was how she was able to save throughout the year and she arrived at the amount she wanted 300 naira every day it's a big deal if you don't know to those that does not have money okay so at the end of the day she started selling drinks bottle water pure water and then what again there was something that she added from the house the day she started we all celebrated so if you are a married woman and you are confused you don't know what to do you don't know how to raise money this and that all you have to do is um don't think about getting rich instantly because where some people get it wrong is they want to start up a business now and get rich instantly so instead of doing it gradually like what the bible says that um we should learn from the incense um from the ants that the ants always gather their food gradually okay they are doing this small small but at the end of the day they get a great result so that is where you are to learn from you have to start saving even 100 naira is a big deal you just have to save it at the end of one year 
I promise you, from the comfort of your house, you'll be able to start up a business. This is how you can raise money and you will start up your business from the comfort of your home. So, I believe you must have learned something now. This is how you can raise money. Don't borrow money. Don't go begging. Don't borrow. Don't beg. Especially in the area of borrowing. If you borrow money and whatever you want to do did not grow in your hand, automatically become a debtor and it, you, you become a mess to yourself. You'll be struggling with how are you going to pay this? And if you are not lucky, you took it with interest. You are in a big mess already. So... You save gradually. Do not borrow. Then do the business at the comfort of your home. This method has been tested and proven to be true. And it worked. Never think of getting rich instantly from the very moment you, you are starting up a business. Start gradually with what you have and from where you are.